Well, there's one word that keeps coming to mind on this hike. Steep. <laughs> Make it capitals. Because it's steep. Yeah, there's no shortness of steep. <laughs> there's plenty of it. It's just up, 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 up. And more up. I'm almost to my planned turnaround point. Hopefully I got a good view off this other side. That was worth it to go see those sheep up close. That was pretty awesome. Well, I gotta say going down is definitely harder than going up when you get on a trail this steep. My knees aren't knocking yet, but they're gonna be. I already know this is gonna be a shaky leg by the time I'm done. This is steep. Whoo! Haven't got the shaky leg yet, but it's coming. And it begins. All right, decided to go on another hike today. I didn't have much time today to mess around, so I'm just doing something close. Uh, last week we were on the other side of the valley, other side of the lake looking this way. This time I'm going to go up this side and look the other way. Anyway, I'm going to try to go up this mahogany mountain, but there is no real trailhead. Um, uh, looks like I have to do a little road walk here for a little bit to get to where I can actually access to go up because that's not very steep. <laughs> it's all cliff. Anyway, I'm going to check it out. All right, this Uinta National Forest. This is not the Uintas, but it is a national forest called the Uinta National Forest. And that's kind of the northern end of Mahogany Mountain. Uh, Mount Timpanoga is off behind that. I'm going to try to get up on there. Oh, check out the geese. I think they're geese. Sound like geese, but what the heck? Noisy. Try to zoom in on those. Looks like there's a nest. I must say that's pretty weird. Right up there on that cliff edge, there's some geese that are nesting up there. Uh, never heard of geese nesting on a cliff before. There's those geese flying in circles around me. That must actually be a different pair. Because they're up there at two different nests up on those cliffs. That is crazy. All right, well, that was fun. Sign Hill and up that was not, not good. That's steep, slippery, one step forward, two steps back. But I finally made it to a game trail here that looks a whole lot better if you were to climb up here and go up the game trail. Because side hill and what I just did there was no bueno. All right, so now I'm up on hikeable terrain and the shrubs and the brush and grass. I should be fine from now on, but boy, that was, that was steep. Well, I haven't made it very far up the trail, but I gained a lot of elevation. Starting to get some nice views of the area. There's the snow-capped mountains off on the west side of Utah County there bit into South Salt Lake County a little bit over here but yeah views don't suck when I get up here a little bit higher I'll be able to show you where we hiked last week yeah look at those views I think I'm gonna walk over to this little cliff edge here and see if I can get a vantage point of that goose nest so I'm still in disbelief that they got geese nesting on a cliff edge this just seems crazy to me, but I guess it's one way to stay away from predators, I guess. I worry about the little and goslings, though, <laughs> as they start to leave the nest and they fall off. That's crazy. All right, just to kind of show you how high I've climbed already, my truck is right down here by the road right there. Those geese. They're nesting right here on this little cliff edge there. Yep, 
Got mother goose standing there on point. Hard to see, but she's there. from the trail reports on all trails is that there's no trailhead <clears throat> that's why I side hilled up where I did but I think the trail report said that you know trail goes down and ties into this little golf course halfway right there and then I think they said they were parking in that neighborhood over there and then taking the trail to get over to here to start the climb Anyway, looks like a pretty well used trail. I think they'd have a trailhead for it, but they don't. Yeah, there's no shortness of steep. <laughs> there's plenty of it. It's just up, 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 and more up. Lots of deer sign through here, though. So I wouldn't be surprised you might see some deer on this trail if you hit the timing just right. Whew! Because look at that hillside right there. It's just littered with game trail everywhere. All right, here's another look into American Fork Canyon. And you see a glimpse of uh, Lone Peak over here too. Right up there. Pretty. Well, somebody's missing their blender bottle. Found it. Perspective. This is a look off this cliff edge right here. It's a highway down there, and I'm parked right down there. But that's a long ways down. For instance, look at how big those people are down there on the road. Tiny. Because we're up here. We're up here a lot. <laughs> You want a steep ridgeline hike with views, and this is your baby. If that's what it is. All right. Whew, that's steep. This area right through here, lots of deer sign. Looks like good places for deer to bed down and whatnot. Might be a pretty good area for to wander through there. Maybe try to see a shed or two. But wouldn't surprise me if there's one in there somewhere. But I don't know. I may or may not wander through it. We'll see. All right, I ducked in under this cedar tree. Get out of the wind a little bit. That storm front's coming in. It's supposed to rain and snow. It's getting pretty breezy. It's starting to turn off cold, but I think I'm about petering out for today. I think I'm going to try to get to that little rocky outcropping right there and maybe see if I can't get a peek off the other side and then have a snack and a drink and head on down. Well, looks like my little cliffside I wanted to go peek off the other side is occupied right there I don't know if you can see it yeah that might be a sheep because it's uh, a little more tan in color than those mountain goats we see I don't 
don't see any others, just that one. than I am. That's for sure. Well, I must say that's pretty cool. That was worth the climb up here for sure. I mean, I'm only 50 feet from that thing. Oh, there's another one. Playing in the trail right there. Well, that's cool. I got a double. That's pretty awesome. Well, hey there, buddy. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just want to look off that edge over there because I think you got a stellar view. Heck yeah. Huh. Are you gonna let me hike past or are you gonna try to butt me off the mountain? Just don't butt me off the cliff. Huh. Okay, buddy. Are you gonna scale that cliff, really? Oh, that's cool. Look at that view you got. That is spectacular. Heck yeah. All right, your buddy decided to go the other way. What are you gonna do? I gotta hike right past you. Oh, fight or flight. Looks like this one's choosing to flight. Got a good view too. Well, all right. Well, that was super cool. Big orange sheep right there. Another one behind me right here. Yeah, I didn't mean to take over their view, but man, it's a good one. <laughs> Check that out. Big old cliff right there. An awesome view. Of the valley behind us, and then right up there. That's where we hiked last week, looking across on this mountain. Pretty neat. Well, all right, I'm almost to my planned turnaround point. Hopefully, I got a good view off this other side. Oh, oh, heck yeah. Oh my goodness, look at that. Heck yeah. Well, I found the snow. Woo-wee. Wow, look at that. Well, that's the rest of the hike to Mahogany Mountain up there. Actually over here, but I think I'm gonna pass on that today because my get up and go got up and went. This hike took it out of me, it's steep. But look at those views, that is fantastic. Well, all right, I made it. 
my planned turnaround point. There's the view of the Timpanogos Highway heading out towards home. And uh, I'm right out here on kind of close to this rocky outcropping. I don't dare get any closer because it's, it's sketch. But look at the road down below at AF Canyon. That is down there. <laughs> Heck yeah. Those views do not suck. That was worth the jaunt for sure. We'll save the rest of that hike up there <laughs> for another time. But yeah, my this is steep. My legs gave out. I, they're starting to give out. So I need to need to work into a hike like this. Can't just go from getting fat all winter to going on a straight up hike. So I guess I gotta take care of that. <laughs> back in shape because the summer is near it's just into spring just barely so all right I'm gonna enjoy some views a snack and a drink and head on down see what else I can see all right had my snack and my drink now I'm getting headed back down I already know this is going to be a shaky leg by the time I'm done. This is steep. All right, well, it is what it is. That was worth it to go see those sheep up close. That was pretty awesome. Well, I got to say, going down is definitely harder than going up when you get on a trail this steep. It's just like every step you take you just got to keep from slipping yeah it's uh, especially through that scree field type stuff it is steep anyway we're just it's a slow go going down and my knees aren't knocking yet but they're gonna be because you know going up this right there <laughs> a lot easier than going down for sure holy cow all right, here we go. It's amazing how those big one seats just disappeared. <laughs> I don't know where they went, but I must say it's pretty cool. I got within 15 feet of that. Those two, that was pretty cool to be that close to a big horn sheep in the wild. Super awesome. Don't get opportunities like that very often, but that made this hike for sure so worth it. Plus the views, they don't suck either. <laughs> I'm wandering off trail a little bit. Try to get some flatter ground over here. Get my knees and my feet a rest for a second. I'm gonna wander through these trees and where all this deer sign is right here and see if I can't maybe find something over here but this right here is a, a lot flatter ground I'm gonna wander through it and then work my way back to the trail so we'll see if we find anything all right looks like I found the deer highway right through here lots of deer sign I was just noticing over here, there's a couple of deer carcasses. There's one there and one over there. I didn't make it through the winter or something, I don't know. Go take a closer look. Well, it looks like somebody's up here making rock circles. That's a big circle too. Not sure what that's about. Well, all right, I'm gonna continue my meandering through the woods here and head on down. A little rock cannon. I don't know what else I'll find up here. They got a little bird in there. Oh, it's a robin. I 
Yeah, I'm just wandering my way down through this oak brush and every time I think I see an antler, I see it's a bone. <laughs> and then here's another fresh uh, carcass there from the last month or two. It's uh, pretty much gone, but it's it's still fresh enough you can smell it. So there's plenty of plenty of deer sign in here and this is my fourth dead deer I've seen, so I don't know, maybe predators are getting them or winter kill or something, but yeah. Anyway, we'll just keep wandering down. Working my way down. Steep, my goodness. But at least I got a good view to look at on the way down. There's no switchbacks on this trail. It's just straight up. Almost back down. I found what looks like a geocache. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's got some kind of sequence to put on there. Maybe it's a bomb. Well, if it's a bomb, good thing the batteries are corroded made the uh, igniter not go off. It's not working, whatever it is. Looks like here's some more of it, or maybe. Huh. Not sure what this is, but it's not working either. Uh, the mysteries of what you find on the trail. like there's some kind of weather monitoring station right there. Got a little weather vane up there blowing in the wind. All right, I'm almost down. Looks like my game trail just disappeared. Looks like this is butt scooting down to the to the road. <laughs> Here we go. All right. It wasn't too bad, but I basically two feet in one hand, I rolled the marbles down the hill to here yeah right there I just rode those marbles down marbles not marbles rocks I rode the rocks down it's been a great little hike lots of fun whoo haven't got the shaky leg yet but it's coming anyway catch you on the next one I got one thing to say I'm glad that wasn't my first hike of the season Whew, I earned this Coke Zero. My goodness, that was a hard hike for a first hike of the year, or a second hike of the year. <laughs> Holy cow. It's worth it, though. And it begins. <laughs> that was a shaky leg hike. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs>